Okay guys, so today we're on our way to Elora. Okay guys, so we're now in Elora. So I'm just starting the trek to explore what this little town has to offer. Last week we brought you Stratford and we've researched a nice little town as well. It's called Elora. So we're actually standing here. So we, we know nothing about Elora. We just know it's a small town. We drove here and we're looking for a good time. So we're just going to explore, walk the streets and see what Elora has to offer. So over there we have the Elora milk. So after we have um, lunch, we'll be stopping at a restaurant here and then we'll go, um, go by the mill to see what's there. Yeah, so we came to this restaurant, so we're hoping that we could get um, a seat without reservation. However, we were told no, um, but we're coming back at 1.15. We don't see these sales often. Everything for five dollars. So looking to see what I should get as a Christmas gift. <laughs> we are going by the EMT, the baker right now. You guys know my philosophy, like. If you're doing um, this thing right, it shouldn't stop you from enjoying life, life moments like these. So today we got up so that, hey, look, let's check out this small town, Elora. We, we've seen it on Instagram, it's a very cute town, a nice little town. So we drove out, it's just something unusual um, to do. And we are just checking it out. So I never had any time to prepare any food or I'm not in any mood to search Elora for diet food or anything like that. So we got a German cheesecake and a Napoleon tart. So later will be greater when you get home from Elora. First thing that Elora had to offer was pastries. So went to Elora bread and we will show later. Oh, so we had Danish um, cinnamon roll. These are the biggest, thickest cinnamon rolls I've ever seen. Guys, this croissant is so good. So the croissant has an almond filling in it and maple syrup on it. While we wait on one fifteen for a restaurant appointment, we're just checking out random stores so this is a household um, store well this is so comfortable guys Have to you know when you're checking out so far. I have to check it out the proper way. I'm really loving this artwork. It's not quite 115 yet, but we were to go to the mill and we are passing the restaurant, so we're just going to check on the reservation.
complete disclosure. We never knew this restaurant was all you could, all you can eat. So we considered leaving, but then we decided to take the adventure uh, to food as well. Quick disclosure, so we went to the Friendly Society restaurant and we got a big surprise. It was all you can eat. We considered leaving, but it's so cold here. So we never wanted to take on that trouble. But it was so good. As you guys can see how much we had. I'm feeling like a barrel now. So fitness program, nil. Elora one. So guys, we're at the Elora Mill. It's a hotel and it has a restaurant and a spa. So guys, I'm just realizing that there's a, a rest the restaurant is right here overlooking um, the falls. So next time, next time we we'll come to Elora, we'll definitely be dining here. Guys, one thing I noticed, like the temperature dropped quickly the closer we we'll get to the water just now. So. Okay guys, so we're just at the hot we're in the hotel lobby taking it out. Guys this painting is massive. It's so good. So beautiful. Okay, so we just stopped at are shopping here in Elora, so we just check out this season's home gift Christmas store. I guess this is the part. So here, checking it out. This is a cool artwork. <laughs> cool artwork here. Hey guys, so we're just chilling in Elora and how comfortable must you be with life to just uh, sit and chill and kick and kick leaves. <laughs> yeah, so I'm definitely having a good time here. It's a quiet town, very cute and we don't have much sun today. It's cold, but we stopped at some bakeries you saw. The wonderful pastries that we that we had and some we are waiting to have when we get home. So here we are on Metcalf Street. Seems as if it's just a lot of businesses. I'm seeing distilling company. We have a church down that road. We are coming from down there. So just to get a, a, a bit of an information to Elora's history, right there, those two young gentlemen, well, not so young anymore, but those two gentlemen were very um, important in Elora's history. So guys, one thing I've noticed in Elora so far, different temperatures at different streets. So the, the further up Metcalf Street to come, it's definitely colder here, so just trying to warm up before we continue. Yeah, but I can see that Metcalf Street is definitely the busier side of Elora. Here is where most of the commerce is done in, in Elora. Definitely a small, quiet town. I just heard somebody saying that here in Elora it's always sunny. I'm not sure if that's an official tagline, but I'm definitely getting that vibe. It's a beautiful little town. Um, 
I would say, well, I'm not even going to compare it to Stratford. Like, they are both beautiful and both special in their own right. Um, so, the Friendly Society, the restaurant there, it was tremendous. And we have gotten, we've done some research on the mill. There's a restaurant there and there's a hotel there. So, hopefully, the next time we come here, we'll be staying there. So, we'll have more to tell you on Elora. So, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and share it with your friends. And I'll see you in the next video.